Minions and jellyfish. I have never been more excited to ever bring you a particular product that is wildly unique. And yes, I know I get really excited about the things, but this little gadget will arguably save lives. And if you get one yourself, holy cow, you need to get one for every single one of your family. And if in fact you own a auto insurance company, you need to buy these for all of your policy holders because this will arguably save lives. Well, what is this futuristic hockey puck that I have blinking in the palm of my hand? This is a flare. Yes, you can put these out on the road. They go through several, actually, as I'm talking, I'm just gonna go through several blinking functions right here. Uh, there's about nine of them as you go through. And they're super bright. As a matter of fact, I put one on my car all the way the heck out there, and you can see it blinking. And you're like, Bo, 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 how come it's on the side of your car? Well, that's because on the back of this thing, it's a magnet. Yeah, and there's a little sticker on there so that when you actually put it on your car, it doesn't scratch your car. There's also a little hook, as you can see, which the hook folds up. So let's say you want to take this backpacking or something like that, you can hang it in your tent. But I would say the primary purpose of this guy is the place on your car. Now I'm going to finish up the functions right there. Oh, by the way, this solid function, that lasts about 10 hours. Yeah, not kidding, 10 hours. And then if it's actually low, you know, it'll last longer, obviously, because it's taking less battery life. And then that is the, the left side right there. So if you just wanted to have it showing on one side, you could do that as well. The last feature, when I click this, you'll see that there's a little LED light. And so theoretically, as you are, let's say, changing a tire on the side of your car, this could be on the side of your car pointing straight down so that you can actually light up the scene of the crime, so to speak. And uh, see, I'm just gonna shine it on the ground right there. And you can actually see your work area, which is a brilliant, brilliant idea. But you're like, ah, Bo, but I want it to blink orange. I don't want, well, that's because they give you three of them with this little pack. Um, they also give you this, this little hammer thing, which is, which is kind of a nice little pickle, so to speak, that you get with your sandwich. But, um, you know, honestly, I have never really ever met anyone who's been trapped in a car. But, hey, that's me. I guess that's kind of nice. You can mount it if you'd like or just stick it in your glove box. A little seatbelt cutter thing, and I'm not going to demonstrate this on my car because I don't want to ruin my car. We're just going to assume that that works. But really what I'm really tickled pink about is this guy right here. By the way, one little side feature. If you want to turn this off and you don't want to cycle through all nine functions, just hold it down for about three seconds and then it turns off like so. And then if you want to start it back up again, exactly where you left off, you just push it down and voila, it goes on. Now, do keep in mind that the little device that I'm showing you it does not actually have screws in the back right there, one, two. That's because I took them out so that I can actually show you how to change the batteries out. Uh, normally they have two little screws in the back, one, two. They take three AAA batteries, which I actually have three AAA batteries in my in, in there just as an emergency backup, just because whenever you're traveling around with any kind of flashlight, you always wanna have a backup. So if these are being stored in the trunk of your car and you live in Minnesota, and it's negative 50 degrees. When it comes to batteries being in cold environments and cold temperatures, they will deplete a lot faster. And so I would recommend every winter um, at least double checking some of these batteries or maybe even replenishing your safe, your backup batteries right there. Um, I've definitely been in cold type environments where not only does my cell phone, but flashlights as well deplete very, very quickly because of the cold. And then those little keys right there, that's a Phillips head and that's a flat head. You don't really care about that. Basically, point being, they give you um, the ability to take these out with those tools. And this is what the screw looks like, like so. And that corresponds with one and two. Now, back to, oh, it's magnetic. Oh, that's handy. Oh, theoretically, you could store a lug nut on there so it doesn't uh, slip away. Well, that's a little handy feature. Okay, anyway, anyway, that's not as advertised. I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to sell anything here. I'm just really tickled pink about this. Now, there's there's a little tab here and a little tab here. It is pretty much watertight, at least it feels like it. There's kind of a rubberized type, um, you know, edge around there, like that. 
So you're, you, the first time that you crack this open, you really have to put a lot of oomph into this tab and this tab to peel this off. And then once you do peel it off, voila, there are the three AAA batteries. And you can replace them accordingly. I would, again, recommend adding three AAA batteries inside your cute little pack, which, by the way, look, they even thought of the outside being reflective. <laughs> yeah, go figure, they kind of think of everything. So that's it. These are flares that um, do not have any flames, obviously, attached to them, as the, what typical flares do, which here in the Pacific Northwest, during summertime, the last thing you want to do is have an open flame on the highway where it's super, super dry. And, uh, and what you're gonna do is, uh, well, start a forest fire as you're trying to warn passing motorists that you're there. Yeah, you don't wanna do that. You wanna have something flameless and yet it's still pretty darn bright. Uh, that is just so cool. So yes, it does stick to the side of my vehicle and uh, that's a Toyota Corolla. I know it's really dark out there, but uh, I just wanted to show you that, uh, yeah, it does fit on the back, and or you could just put it on the road like this. Anyway, I could go on and on and on, but you guys get the idea. It's a brilliant, brilliant device. Highly recommended that you uh, not only get this for yourself and put it in the trunk of your car, but uh, also consider getting it for your loved ones as well, because I think this is a really, really, really a brilliant idea. I hope whoever invented this has a really nice house. So that's it, small little demonstration of this guy. Hopefully it's helpful in determining whether or not these little LED flares from Hokina, I think that's how it's pronounced. I don't know how to pronounce that. Hokina, Hokina. Oh well, Bo Chevisu out.